Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Mind Games. John Lennon. That's your chord pattern for the intro, and it's also used as the Mind Games part, uh, which I'm calling the verse. It sounds more like a chorus, but we're going to call it the verse for this video, okay? So, uh, let's see. You need a C chord. And you're going to go down, 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 up. Would be perfectly fine for this song. For everything except for one chord, it's going to have a longer strum. But other than that, this is your strum. So down, 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 up. Okay? C chord is a fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, for, uh, second string first fret. Now, uh, we're going to go to a G6 slash B, is what we're calling it. Uh, we're going to go to the 5th string, 2nd fret, and just hold that down, uh, mute the 6th string, and down, 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 just like that. Okay, so C to the G6 with the B in the bass. Okay, uh, you could do, uh, you could leave your first finger down. Uh, off the C chord and just go to that 5th string 2nd fret and then mute the 4th string as you lean over. That's a, a C slash B and that also works with the song. It's, uh, I can't figure out which one he's doing. <laughs> but uh, that also works. Uh, either way, doesn't matter. Uh, a minor is your next chord. 4th string, 3rd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. And from the A minor, I'm just going to lift up my ring finger and put on the 6th string, 3rd fret. That's going to be a C with G in the bass. Okay? Same strong. Down, 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 up. Then I'm going to go to an F major 7. Leave my 1st finger on the 2nd string, 1st fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret. 4th string, 4th uh, string, 3rd fret. I want to have the open 1st string. That's what makes it an F major 7. Uh, I'm leaning into the fifth string, although it could ring, uh, I'm leaning into it with this finger, and then I'm going to wrap my thumb on the, the sixth string first fret. Uh, some people can't do that, so just when you're doing the strum, if you can't do that, to make a big sound like that, uh, just uh, kind of lean into it so you're muting it, and and you could be, uh, you could be careful with your strum to hit those, nick those strings if they're ringing open, because it'll sound kind of funky. Your next chord is C slash E. This one also is a bit of trouble. Uh, it's the second string first fret, the fourth string second fret, and I'm going to lean my, my middle finger so that it's into the fifth string and muting it. I really only want to hear those top four strings, okay? Uh, the one, two, three, and four strings. I don't want to hear that 5th string or the 6th string. I mean, you could do a regular C chord and use the open 6th string. That's also a C slash E, but it gets kind of muddy. And that's a cleaner sound to me for the song. But if you, if you strum and the 5th string's open, it's going to be an A minor 7, which doesn't really work. Okay. Then a D chord, 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st... Uh, Third string and first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And from here, I'm just going to lift up my middle finger and put it on the fifth string, third fret, and then I'm going to lean over a little bit so that the fourth string gets muted and the first string gets muted. That's a D slash C. If you really want, you could bar one, two, and three three during that chord, which is also a D slash C, but uh, I'm not going to bother. Probably not. We'll see. Alright, so there's your, uh, that's your progression. So it's like the same strum pattern. They each share, uh, the, the two chords, uh, each one shares a measure, so you just go C to the G, 6 slash B, the A minor, C slash G, F major 7, C slash E to the D, D slash C, same thing. And that's your pattern.
pattern and it does it once through for an intro and then when he starts singing we're going to call that the verse it's the mind games we're playing those mind games together forever whatever uh, he does it four times the first time uh, then he goes to what I'm calling the chorus uh, love is the answer uh, we'll get to that in just a sec uh, but then he comes back to the verse but this time he only goes through it three times then he comes back to love is the answer is the chorus um, and he always does the chorus the same way. It's always two times through the progression, which we haven't got to yet, but we'll get to it. Uh, and then he fades out. Uh, the, the last thing is the verse comes back, and he does it over and over again five times, and then they stop fading out. Okay? So this is the progression for the intro and the, what we're calling the verses, the mind games part. Okay? And that's, that's all you need for that part. Okay, so the, the lead part that runs through... Uh, the uh, the verse uh, the intro and the verse part it's it's he's playing the uh, he's playing slide guitar which I don't have a guitar that's set up for slide I will attempt to do it and you can laugh at me but uh, he's playing this note and they just do that over and over again so you slide up into the twelfth first string twelfth fret and then the second string a ten on the second string. It just does that over again, over and over again. That's what you hear in the song. And uh, none of my guitars are set up for a slide. In other words, the action's too close on all my guitars. But um, you need a higher action for really to get a good slide. At least I do. All right, so with the slide... does that over and over again. Uh, if you don't have a slide, they're fun to play with. Uh, this one's a Corsetan bottle. Uh, it was like cough syrup or something like that. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, one of my friends uh, and students uh, got me that years ago. He actually got me two of them. I still have them both. All right, so that was the 12th fret and then the second string A10, 12. And uh, that's that lead part that runs through. There's a couple other licks in the song, and we'll get to them there later on. All right, the chorus is a C chord to a D chord to a G, G slash F to an E minor to a G slash D to a D. Again, C, D is the answer, G, G slash F. E minor, you know that. D for sure is D. Okay, so this is the love is the answer, um, that part. Uh, it's a C chord. Let's see. Do we need we need new chords though? C and D you already have. Uh, we have some choices in the song. I'll give you a couple different ways to play it. But you got a C chord for down, 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 up, same strum. D is the same thing. I'm going to do a G chord, and the way I'm going to do the G chord is 6th string 3rd fret, 1st string 3rd fret. So I'm not doing it like we usually do G. I only want those two fingers because I'm going to need to reach back in just a moment. So the G is down, 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 up. Then I'm going to uh, lift up this finger and grab the 6th string 1st fret. It's going to sound funky by itself. But that's the, you hear this bass line going throughout the whole song. And, That's a G slash F. There's a couple different ways to play this part, and this is one way. I'll get to another way in a moment. Then you got E minor is the fifth string and fourth string second fret. And then G slash D, again, there's a couple different ways you could play it. I'm going to play it like the second string third fret, third string fourth fret, fifth string fifth fret, fourth string fifth fret. I'm going to lean over so the first string and the sixth string what my thumb is going to get muted. Okay, so that's a G slash D, and there's an easier way to play it. I'll show you in a moment. So then you got a D chord at the end, and this is the one that gets the longer strum pattern. It's the only moment in the song. It's down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. We've done it before. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. In other videos, in other songs. So you got C. D, G, to the G slash F, E minor, to G slash D, D 
When you get to the G, you could play this. So the C is the same, the D is the same. Uh, but I used to play it like this. Uh, fourth string, fifth fret, third string, fourth fret, second string, third fret. Uh, it's a G chord. It's like your F chord moved up uh, two frets. It's a G. I lean over and get rid of that first string. And I just kind of play at an angle so the fifth string gets muted and I'm kind of muting this one. So I do that and then I twist around. And it works with the song. You have to be pretty good to play uh, to, get, to mute those strings. The, the G slash F now sounds better than that big bulky one. It's uh, the thir uh, fourth string third fret, second string third fret, third string fourth fret. Again, I got it looks like a D shape in the middle of the guitar. I, I gotta mute all the other strings. That's why it's hard. You do the E minor like you normally know, would. When you get to the G slash D, you could just play the first string, third fret, and the rest are open. Just don't nick that uh, fifth string or sixth string. Keep your strum tighter. Strum, it's not going to sound right. So you got to just strum four, three, two, and one to the D chord. So let me take a couple turns through that. So this is the chorus. Uh, love is the answer. D to the G. Uh, sorry, <laughs> let me try that again. So C to the D. The G up here to the G slash F to the E minor. Slash D to D. Again, C to the D. The G slash F. E minor. G slash D to D. Every time I start trying to sing the words and yell out the chords and explain it to you and play it, I'll screw it up. That's violent. All right, so that's that's it for the chorus, okay? And we went over the form: you, you intro once, the verse four times, chorus twice, verse three times, chorus twice, verse five times, and you fade out. So uh, there's just a couple more licks to to figure out in the song. Let's get to them. All right, there's a couple licks that come up in the song that uh, they're buried in there in the middle somewhere. So uh, this first one comes in around two minutes and thirty nine seconds. Uh, it's the love is the answer, and uh, no, yes is the answer, and you know that for sure. Uh, right after that, you're going to hear something like, sorry. It's really kind of, um, it's not too loud either, so that's a good one. So what he's doing is he's sliding it. This is without a slide. Um, without the actual slide, the glass slide that I was using. He, he slides with his middle finger and on the third string he goes to the 11th fret and he adds the first string 10th fret. So they kind of overlap like that. Then he goes back to that third string and hits it twice. So it's like... Then he goes on the third string he goes 12, 11, 7, 7, 5, all on the third string. So, I think that's it. It's something like that. All right. Uh, then, at 2 minutes and 53 seconds, right after that, he's like, let, yes is surrender. You got to let it. You got to let it go. That's it. 2 minutes and 53 seconds, approximately. You put your slide back on. Sorry. It sounds something like that. That was a pretty good one. He only does it once. I'm just practicing. <laughs> so you got your slide. You're on the first string. You're at the 12th fret. You slide up to the 14th fret. Right back to the ten, uh, 12th fret. And then the 10th fret. So, 
So 12 to 14, back to 12, 10, <laughs> and then on the second string, 10, 10. So, and that's it. Those are the two licks, other than that main lick that runs through the whole song, you know, the... Which we've talked about. Okay? That's it for Mind Games. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Play more guitar.